not generous. So we're down to the final skater. As Michelle Kwan leads, Sasha Cohen and Sarah Hughes is in third place. Another but here is the, the silver medalist from last year. What a City, moment California. that was when she shocked she everyone. Only 14 Naomi years of age, Naomi Narinov. In fifth after the short program. Irvine, California, trains in Costa Mesa. Well, she has so much personality, and she really knows how to sell a program. Nice opening, double axle. Did you notice how she attacks that jump? She is attacking this entire program. She's not giving away one thing here. Now look at this triple lutz, double toe combination. Uh, maybe it's that speed and that attack which she's unable to control also. Forward flying sit spin. And this next combination, triple flip, double toe. She has good speed going into this. Oh, up leaning the, in the air. It was the toe pick again. Yes. Did you see it slip yes. off? She really stole a show a year ago in the free skate, capturing that silver medal. And her mama said maybe it was too much too soon for her to handle. It takes time to settle these things. Do we have any conception of what they are going through, of the year's work for this four-minute program? Yeah. I mean, look at the way she's skating. It's brilliant. And so it's she makes a mistake. So what? It's gorgeous to watch. And these young skaters, you know, 13, 14 years old, this is the time in their life when they're changing so much and growing. She looks much bigger than she was last year. She's probably grown two or three inches. But there's a spark about her skating. Again, the, the toe pick flipped right off. You could see it just slide away. It's rushing the timing of the entrance to that jump that does it. That one was very clean. You saw how neat and how timed, well timed the turn back edge and the toe pick was. Well, she says that's one of her favorite jumps. Very difficult, too. It's also a move that you do not want to catch your toe on. Wonderfully fast running stars. Good sit spin. Be nice if her back were a little straighter. Superb flexibility in this Beelman. I've got to tell you, I'm just fascinated by these 
by these young baby ballerinas. I think they're marvelous in every way. She didn't light up the building like she did a year ago, but it's enjoyable to watch her, isn't it? Even when she makes the mistakes. Yeah, there's a brightness know? and a flair about her skating. 14-year-old Naomi Nari Nam will have her marks when we come back to Gundarina here in Cleveland. Nam, along with her coach, John Nix, who also coaches, of course, as we mentioned, Sasha Cohen. We're waiting for her scores now. Well, she could affect those on top of the leaderboard she was in fifth after this short program but she's not going to pull up because she made i mean she may pull up but she will not pull up to first position because she made too many mistakes in the program it was it was for technical merit oh really she only landed one clean triple five point one it was four point six oh i point zero Five they're the technical two, merit marks, Dick. Five well, gen point generally, three, in that 5.1, 5.2, 5 5 5 5 2, 3 range is about right. She made too many mistakes. And, and as talented as she is, uh, she can't do that. And she has had that kind of season, as and a matter of fact. And she struggled throughout the week in practice here in Cleveland. When she left the ice, she knew she would see low marks. So the presentation marks, and that puts Naomi Nari Nam in eighth. She drops from fifth to eighth place. And it means that Michelle Kwan stays on top of the leaderboard, and she is the gold medalist. She comes from behind. She was in third, the unlikely position after the short program, and it's Kwan who wins her fourth U.S. title and her third in a row. And let's take you back to Leslie Visser right now. Leslie? Terry, it was the most dramatic day, and for these two, we have seen the future is now. Congratulations to both of you. First to you, Sasha. What were you most proud of out there? Um, I was really proud that I skated a great program for myself, and I'm, I attacked my jumps, and I'm really glad how I skated. How do you feel about you have to go to Junior Worlds in order to represent us at the World Championships? How do you feel about that? Well, I'm really excited to go to Junior Worlds. It's a great opportunity for me, and I'm really looking forward to it. Well, you're going back to your second world, Sarah. How do you feel about that? It's amazing, and I'm really happy that I'm on the podium this year for the first time and that I'm going back to Worlds. It's fantastic. For you, our friend, uh, words you don't often hear in sports, a three-peat, but congratulations to you. What will you remember most about your fourth championship? I think um, when I was out there, I fought. It's been a long week, and um, short program. wasn't really happy with it and I'm glad I came out strong. Yeah, what attitude did you have? You fought back from third place. Um, you know, I just thought, hey, have fun. This is, what, my seventh nationals? I, I can't remember, it and is. I feel ancient next to these people, <laughs> but um, just go out there and have fun. Do you feel like the technical demands are increasing, and what will you need to win Worlds? I really feel that I have to up the ante. There's been a lot of skaters who are doing triple triples, and I feel like I've got to do one of those triple triples or maybe two of them. We provide a great week of competition. Thanks to you all. Back to you, Terry. All right, Leslie, she'll take on Arena Slutskaya, who won the European title. We get word over there from Vienna. So Michelle Kwan, her fourth title, she joins.